Newton's big book. Halley's question reclined Newton's interest in the way planets moved. He wrote a nine-page essay to answer it, and then kept on going. Now that I'm upon this subject, he wrote, I would gladly know the bottom of it. In only eighteen months, he finished his five hundred page masterpiece. What? This title is Mathematical Principles of Natural Philosophy, familiar known from its Latin title as Principia. With this book, he laid the foundation of modern physics. Every physicist since 1687, has both their work on the ideas in Newton's book. Halley was excited. He wanted to make sure Newton didn't keep this revolu revolutionary work to himself. He acted as Newton's editor and even paid for the book to be printed. Right away, it looked like as if there might be trouble. Newton's old enemy, Hook, claimed that Newton had taken ideas from him. Newton was so furious that he threatened not to publish it at all. <gasps> it took all Halley's tact to calm him down. The book came out in 1687 and caused a sensation. Readers left as if the universe had suddenly been explained to them. A French mathematician wondered, Did Mr. Newton eat, drink, and sleep like other men? As we know, the answer is this was actually no. Probably the book was admired and discussed more than it was actually read. It was almost impossible to follow. Newton even hinted that he had done this deliberately. It was a way to protect himself from people asking stupid questions. Newton's book made him so famous that he was elected to Parliament. He became a member of the government just in time to vote in favor of the Glorious Revolution in 1689. Except from his one important vote, which brought a new king to the throne of England. He did not take an, any active role in Parliament. The only time he actually spoke was to ask for a window to be closed.